Now that you've made the proper ladder selection, the next step is to inspect your ladder. Most injuries can be avoided simply by taking the time to thoroughly inspect your equipment before using it. Never climb a ladder without carefully looking for missing, damaged, or loose components. Be sure that the ladder is in good working condition, free of any spills, drips, or other debris. Also, check to make sure that the labels on your ladder are in place and readable. When inspecting your step ladder, begin at the bottom and work your way up. First, look at the feet and be sure the foot pads are properly attached and are not worn, torn, or missing. Next, inspect the ladder rails. For a fiberglass ladder, make sure the rails are not excessively worn, damaged, or split. For an aluminum step ladder, be sure there is no damage or bowing to the rails. Do this for both the front and back of your step ladder. Look at the steps of your ladder to make sure that they are not bent or damaged and that the connections are tight. Also, clean any debris or other substances from the steps. Finally, check to see if your ladder can open and close smoothly, making sure the spreaders lock securely and all four feet sit firmly on the ground. If you discover any of these problems, tag the ladder and take it out of service immediately. The rule of thumb is always, when in doubt, tag it and throw it out. Use the same process when inspecting an extension ladder. Begin at the bottom and work your way to the top. Closely examine the feet to make sure the foot pads are not missing or torn. Then inspect the shoes for damage and check to see if they move freely. Then look at the rails and rungs of your ladder to ensure that they are not bent, bowed, cracked, split, or torn. Carefully examine the locks of your extension ladder to make sure they're clear of any debris and lock easily over the rung. Check to be sure that the flippers on the locks are in place and are not damaged. Finally, look at the rope on your extension ladder. Check to see that it is properly secured to the fly section of the ladder and make sure that it is not frayed, worn, or torn and that it glides easily through the pulley. Never climb on a damaged ladder. Remember, when in doubt, tag it and throw it out.